Best Supporting Actor nominee Paul Racy spent decades on the Chicago theater scene. He tells Jose Sanders success later in life is a sweet surprise, even if no one knows his name. Paul Racy in Sound of Metal. No, it's racy, but that's fine. <laughs> Congratulations, my brother. This is a long time coming, right? I have to pinch myself. I have to look. My wife and I, we look at each other and go, is this really happening? And yes, it is. It's happening. Well, I think it's important that you stay here with us right now, Ruben. Learn some sign language. Racy plays Joe, a veteran who lost his hearing in the war and runs a sober house for the deaf. Paul knows that character. When I got back from Vietnam, I, I came back with some nasty habits. Uh, and I've been through a lot uh, with my s several addictions. Finally uh, wrestled with those devils. And um, then I ended up working as a sign language interpreter for deaf addicts, the deaf community in Chicago that raised me. They taught me what unconditional love is. The rousing Chicago theater scene captivated Racy, but he got this warning from his teacher at UIC. I hate to tell you this, but I don't think you can have any success until you're much older. Wow. Did, did, did I thought he meant 40 years? Uh, nobody wants to hear that. <laughs> when I moved out here, I was already 40 years old. So let me tell you people, nobody's looking for a brand new 40 year old out here in Hollywood. You, can, <laughs> you know, Chicago is and always will be a theater town. When I came to Los Angeles, I was like, Oh my God, you guys call this theater? Paul just turned 73. Both his parents were deaf. Signing gives him a way to pay the bills. I'm a sign language interpreter in the court system here in Los Angeles. I've been doing that for 35 years. Uh, so that's how I paid for my house. Paul's wife, Liz, is his agent, and her persistence got him the role of a lifetime. I can't stop crying. I just keep crying. That's all I'm doing today. She's the one who made the phone call to the uh, casting directors to take a look at my tape, which was on the bottom of the, the pile there, because they were inundated with tapes. Everybody and his uncle wanted to play this role. Thank God for those people that, that believed in me when nobody else out here did. Now they're all calling me. My phone's yeah, going off the hook. I'm turning, <laughs> I'm turning stuff down. This is a big carrot. And I'm grateful. Jose Sanders, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.